What's up you guys welcome back to another video and today's i'm going to be sharing with you all my daughter's kid friendly goddess braids routine she loves when i do these on her and i was like why not share that with the fam because we see goddess braids going around but not kid friendly all right so today we're going to be using miel's hawaiian ginger moisturizing leave-in conditioner and we're also going to be using their hair butter to achieve this look um, and to add to increasing, well, decreasing the frizz, you already know, I'm going to use a lot of bodies, wrap me, foamy mousse. Okay. So as you can see, her hair is already pre-sectioned and detangled. I have twisted it down so that it can stay detangled. And then we're just going to start working in the back. I'm going to go ahead and unravel these twists, part it off. And get the section situated so that we can move forward with braiding it. begin parting I'm going to give her medium sized parts her hair is super dense as you guys can tell it is thick okay honey and because of this I am parting a lot bigger than maybe some would I don't know but for her we're gonna go with these medium sized parts and when I braid it down you're gonna see that the braid gets small so this is the perfect size for her. I am also going to go through and part it all on this row. I find that this helps with the quickness of getting it done. It just makes the process a lot better. So I'm going to go through and part each braid and clip each one up and then we'll begin braiding. Taking about a quarter size amount of hair butter, I'm gonna rub that in her hair and get it really good and moisturized. Really, I probably am not taking the same amount for each braid, to be honest with you. I'm just, whatever feels good on her hair is what I'm gonna go with. And then you'll see that I'm detangling the ends just to help with the braiding process, make it a lot easier. And then we're gonna definitely go in and begin braiding. Now, I will say that to make this a lot more kid friendly, I'm not only going to be corn rolling the front of her hair, but at the back, I'm going to skip every other braid that I'm making goddess. So if that doesn't make sense, just pay attention. So in order to make it a goddess braid, you know, you're going to pull out some of the hair. And when I pull out some of the hair in the braid, I will pull out of the thickest portion that I have because honestly, not all the time are each of the sections even. So if they're not even, I'm gonna pull it out of the thickest section. And you see that I'm pulling it out on the left-hand side. Once I braid down some more, I'm then going to pull it out of that same thick section, but on the right-hand side. So the goddess look will be on the left and the right-hand side of the braid. I find that doing it this way makes the look more cohesive and then on the next braid i'm not going to pull any strands out because doing this helps to reduce frizz for one so if you or your child that you're doing this for is prone to frizzy hair i would suggest that you definitely skip every other braid it minimizes the density of the look and the frizz and the takedown process is a lot easier as well I've mentioned before that I've done these on her a few times and she loves when I do them and you know we're learning along the way 
that this is a better process since it doesn't have so much of the goddess going on, if that makes sense. You can see on the ends, I'm just gonna twirl it and make it coil and voila, first braid is done. Here we are with the second braid and this is what I mean by not making this one goddess. This one's just gonna be a regular braid, no lead out and then like I said, I will continue to swap each and every, like every other braid that I make goddess. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be on. Now, no matter what braid I'm making goddess and what braid I'm not making goddess, I'm always going to comb the ends out and I'm going to twirl the ends to make it coil and give it that, you know, sealed goddess look at the end at least. <laughs> So I'm just going to continue to do that all throughout her head. And then we're going to move to the top of her head and style it in the cornrows. Once I get to the top of her head and style it in the cornrows, I really just freestyle it. Um, whatever comes to mind is what I'll go with. Here you'll see that I'm going to part her out to braids that are going to hang towards the front as her bangs. Now, no matter what, these two at the front are going to be goddess. So that way she can have that goddess look in the front for sure. So both of these braids, I'm going to pull at least one strand out. And then when I go through corn rolling the rest of her hair, I'm going to go back into the every other braid being a goddess braid so really at this point you know do what you feel get creative make it your own make it cute make it fun
Once everything is done, I'm going to go through with the mousse and apply it to her braids all over in the back, at the top, on the sides, <laughs> just to go ahead and fill in that style for her, help with her curls to coil. And then we're going to style her edges, make them real crispy. And we are done, you guys. I absolutely love doing this style on her hair. She loves it. And it lasts for about a month. As long as you're taking care of it in between, it's super easy to sustain for at least three to four weeks. And, you know, mama ain't got to worry about doing no hair for school. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.